You're really good there, okay? But the issue for me in terms of the swing, as we said, grip-wise, much better. Right thumb now covering the left thumb. There's definitely a move with that right hand. You can see the palm facing down. Yep. It's a much more kind of user-friendly grip. Your first move, but no, before the club went away, you can see there's the wrist there taking it away. Okay, now that move with the wrist and the shoulder's not really moving, club's gone back. Now the shoulder kind of starts in there. That, if that first move is here, there's potential for you to squeeze and twist that club. Or if the club's not in a secure position in the hand there, it can twist a little bit. And unfortunately, when you did that, as the club goes back, the grips loses control. The club hits the top of the back, so you know that face is aiming back to the camera, okay? So your processes around every single shot now is going to be stand aside the golf ball, okay? And try and feel, as we said, you've got a nice sort of lead arm, left arm on the club face there, all nice sort of in a a straight line there, you move them all together, yeah? So the golf club is moving because of the result of your left arm, shoulder, all moving as one. Now by doing it to the side of the golf ball there, when it comes up, that to me is a little bit further than you want to. You need to go back sort of to here, really. Mm. Okay, by going back that far, then let the club kind of come back. Don't have to try and stop it there because that's going to really get you to grip it, okay? If it swings from here, okay, if I go to here now, if that's your swing, you just go there, and back. If it goes past the ball, yeah, so be it. Don't have to go all the way up here and then go mm, yeah. and try and stop. So if you don't, don't try and resist what the club wants to do. Just let the club kind of go back and just feel that nice yeah. looseness. I'm like just rocking a kettlebell. Yeah, yeah? the kettlebell. If you swing a kettlebell back here, it gonna go past the middle. And okay, so you know, to try and stop it, you have to tension muscles up quite a lot. We want to try and get away from that tension. Okay, so once you stand aside the goal, we can do that. Then just feel a nice little loose. Just feel the feet moving around a little bit. Nice and relaxed on the feet. So you've done this here now. Waggle there, move your feet and put the club down on the ground. Eight and a half seconds, okay? You're then moving the goal club away at nine and a half. Okay, so you're only there for a second. Perfect, okay? A lot of times we see people still the ball thinking about it for five, six, seven, eight, mm -hmm. even ten seconds. It's just too long, okay? So the first movement now, you can see that shoulder starting to move now with that club, yeah? A little bit more wrist than we ideally want, but the shoulder is moving more as we get to the top of the back swing now. That club face, that's another, sorry, another front swing. Okay, that club was a lot more squarer. Then you get back to the golf ball, remove your feet again, shuffle it for 12 seconds, and then you're moving at three or four seconds. You're 12 seconds still. Three seconds, about three seconds, not too bad, okay? And then the shoulder now moving. to a little bit of that wrist there, but the shoulder is starting to move a bit more. And at top of the backs, and we are getting a more square club face. I can start seeing some face. It's ticking around a clock. I mean, that's from where you were there. That's, that's 90 degrees strong. There's more face showing. In time, that club face will just move around a little bit more this way, and it'll be a little bit less shut. At the moment, that, that for me now, though, because you said it in straight shots there, that is enough square or not, enough, not, not too much close. As you come back to golf ball now, it's then sort of evolving that we're not going to try the golf ball out to the right there. And even as you look at that movement there now, sort of with your eyes and your arms, it almost looks like you're trying to <laughs> guide it out to the right there. And when you first threw the ball to me at the screen, your first throw went right to me. Nice. Then your second was kind of less right, then you were on my knee, and then the third one, the fourth one was at my chest. And that's just a move you're going to sort of get better at moving. You're going to get round here just a little bit quicker. But once you start seeing a golf ball constantly miss right of target, you're going to start thinking, well, hang on a second, I don't want to get missing right of target. The only, way, the only reasons why you swing so far right, John, is because the fact the ball kept missing left. Yeah. Wasn't it? I mean, your club was... I mean, that, that, that Even that on the left-hand side here, that club face there is an improvement on what it was. Sure. I saw that almost reversed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you get back to golf? I mean, <laughs> and that was a real kind of like toppy-ducky, snappy one. Just, with just no chance at all, okay? So if we can get that club face somewhere in okay. that position, okay, yeah. that's good. Nice, good hip turn, good shoulder turn. You're starting to look a bit more mobile, which is definitely going to help. It will enable that body to rotate around this way a lot more effectively. And in time, you can evolve and just create a different path to target. But I say, when you're down the range next, keep in contact. Send me some text. I'll if you're at 10 that. or 15 shots, I go, God, I'm just doing this. Just yeah. text me. It's a pretty good chance I can sort of reply back fairly yeah. quickly. That's right. That's Hopefully, right. within you being down the range at the same time. Yeah. I can yeah. come back and forth with you and stuff if you're going on this. Yeah, like great. An evening, great. I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we can just then see the results. So when you send some swings, send the swings if you can do. It's always tricky on range when you've got the. Um, the base stands off, you just put, put a phone on there, you obviously the club face. If you want to go down the line, you can still see a club face down the line, how close or square okay. the club face yeah. is. Even if you went and put the camera sort of in this direction, looking that way, if the club face is pointing back to the camera, which you'll see, be like, well, So if, if I just put it in the bag where it... Yeah. For pocket. Yeah, yeah. And just standing it behind the golf ball, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, so you want it... So and when you're doing... Height-wise, that'll be fine, yeah. When you're doing that, if I just draw a line on here now so we can remember... 
because camera position is obviously key in terms of so if I do my, my best impression of uh, Van Gogh. All right, so there's your legs there, there's your arms hanging down, and there's your golf club, okay, and there's the golf ball there. Put the camera in line with your hands, not in line with your feet, not in line with the ball, but put the camera dead in line with your hands, okay? okay. So if, if I'm going to that golf okay. ball here, I would be wrong camera position to that golf ball on the mat, you'd be about right. Further on the left, so because that would give you a different look of the club, and you would say, oh, the club's going way inside or way outside. Yeah. Yeah. So down the line of your hand is going to be key. All right? Right. Make sense? Yes. Good man. Very, very good.